Hello everyone, it's me Chevy from Unique Tutorials. Today, in this video, I will show you how to create a bootable USB pen drive without using any third-party software in Windows computer. So, with any fun more delay, let's begin. So, firstly, what you need to do is you need to download the respective operating system ISO file. So, if you're down, uh, if you are willing to make a Windows bootable USB pen drive, just download the Windows iOS file just go to the Google and just search their Windows 10 or 7 or 11 ISO files so and visit to the Microsoft official websites and you can download the ISO file so right now you can see in my desktop I already have a Windows ISO file and second thing if you're using a Windows 7 or lower Windows operating system then just open any web browser and in the Google search just search this virtual clone drive if you're using a Windows 7 or lower than that and just go to its official website as you can see on the first list personal current drive just click on it and you can see your download just download it because in later part of the video you will be needing it if you are using a Windows 7 or lower portion of Windows operating system so if you're using a Windows 10 or higher portion then you don't need this software name as partial clone drive so I will explain you why you need it you will know later on so after downloading this things now just insert your USB pen drive to your respective Windows computer so let me show you I've already inserted so you can see you and kindly note that which drive it is right so in your case it's different levels in my case you can see here it's a app drive so here you can see it's a pen drive so you can see the memory size also so now just move your mouse cursor to the start menu and in the search box just search for the one program name as common from as you can see here common from so before clicking on this common from you can see on the right side run as administrator so if you're using a older windows version then just right click on the respective program and just select the run as administrator click on yes now you can see here a comment from user interference right so here you need to type a uh, various comment which I'm going to show you one by one so do follow the same comments so don't miss any comments whatever being shown in this video tutorial so the first comment you need to type is just type this part this part just type this comment and after that hit enter wait for a few seconds now you can see by a labeling name as dixport right so in the next step you need to type list space disk so after typing this just hit enter now it will display all the available drives so here you can see in my case dix1 is my pen drive so you can see here the size of the respective pen drive so you can the first one is the hard disk drive or the solid state drive so after that just type select space disk 1 so we are going to select the USB pen drive that is the disk 1 after typing this command just hit enter now the disk 1 will be selected now just type clean to clear the USB pen drive just hit enter now succeeded in cleaning the disk now just once again type create space partition primary just type this command and hit enter now your disk one has been created as a primary partition and now just type format space fs now put a equal sign and since uh, we are going to make here as a windows portable usb pen drive so we'll be using a ntfs format so if you're gonna use it for the linux then you can just instead of NTFS you can type FAT32 if you are going to make a 
Ubuntu or Linux bootable USB pen drive, then instead of antivirus, just use a term fate 32 So after that, just hit space and just type quick to quickly format. So if you don't add a quick, then it will take a lot of time. So it may take a hours also. So I will highly recommend to add this term quick after typing this common format fs equal ntfs space quick. So this quick term will let you quickly format. So after that, just hit enter. Wait for a few seconds. So finally, you can see 100% completed. That is our USB pen drive has been formatted with the antivirus format successfully. So now after this you need to type active just type this term active and hit enter our all task is completed now we should be exiting this so type exit lastly and hit enter now you can see here a, com uh, a message written are uh, leaving this part so when you see this below windows system 32 that means you have exited from this command from so it is not being linked by your usb pen drive anymore now you can close your command from and now you can see here i have a image file or the iso file of the respective windows operating system right so if you are gonna use with the ubuntu also still you will see a same iso file so right now i'm using a windows 11 so if you're using a windows 10 or 11 then you can directly open this iso file just by double left clicking it and it will display all the files inside this ISO file, right? But if you're using a Windows 7 or the lower version of Windows computer, then you can't open such ISO files directly by double left clicking. So for this, you need to use the application Parswell clone drive, which I have shown you earlier. So this will do the same tricks if you're that you are gonna use in the Windows 10 or 11 so you can using that applications in your Windows 7 or lower version of Windows computer you can just open the files inside this ISO file so after that after opening just copy it entirely so select all the files and just right click here and just copy it now after copying it just go to the file manager or file explorer now you can see here here is a USB pen drive right just open it and just pass the enter ISO files folders so you need to wait for some minutes or hours also depending upon how big your operating system file is so have patience until the complete copying of the respective ISO files is completed So finally the copying of the enter files and folders of the respective ISO file has been completed. So you can see we have copied all the enter folders and files of the respective operating system inside this USB pen drive. So our all task has been completed. Now we have to do the final task that is we need to restart our computer and log in to the boot up screen. So what you need to do just keep inserting your usb pen drive don't exec it and after that what you need to do just move your mouse cursor to the windows start menu and just click on the restart options to restart and we'll just check if this portable usb pen drive really gonna work or not so you can see in my case there is a I need to press a F9 so to access the boot device options so I'll just press a F9 to locate to the boot manager so right now you can see here the boot manager so you can see in the third list is my USB pen drive that is HP so I will gonna select it and once you select it just hit enter on your computer keyboard and you need to wait for a few seconds so it's booting up so we need to wait for a few more seconds so finally you can see we have successfully created a 
bootable USB pen drive using this step. So this is how you can create a bootable USB pen drive without using any third party software in Windows computer very easily. So if you never known about these cool tricks then definitely you should try it out and if you find this video tutorial useful please click on the thumbs like button and if you're new to our channel click on the subscribe button and lastly thanks for watching.